Hello students, now we are going to discuss about classification of crystalline solids. Okay, so in that, this first answer is ionic solids. So ionic solids are the cation and anion present. For example, sodium chloride, Na plus and Cl minus. So ionic crystals are bound together by strong electrostatic force of attraction. So the strong electrostatic attractive forces and definite shape crystal structure tha. ok so definite crystal structure present here so what are the characteristics of ionic solids so characteristics of ionic solids so ionic solids are hard and brittle Rumba hard arukon, but break panna mudiyum ninge uppu la irukkale, sodium chloride so adu vandu high melting point la arukon. sodium chloride appadi indradhu example for ionic solids but it acts as an insulator in solid state, but when it is in dissolved in water, it conducts electricity. Clear? Okay, next covalent solids. So, covalent solid is diamond, three dimensional network structure. Three dimensional network structure. So, diamond is very hard and have high melting points. So, it do not conduct electricity. But the graphite is the exception case. Okay, graphite is soft. It is a conductor of electricity. So, what is the main reason? Graphite is structure. And the layer layer is structure. The main reason. Clear? So, exception properties of graphite. So, what is the main Graphite is soft and it is a conductor of electricity due to its typical structure. So carbon atoms are arranged in different layers and each atom is covalently bonded with three of its neighboring atoms in the same layer. So graphite la over atom three bonds when they put it in the layer and fourth valence electron of each atom it is present between different layers and the fourth electron valence electron on the free of move the chance and the free movement the energy Good conductor reason. Next, molecular solids. So, molecular solids are in a sir. So, composed of molecules held together by Van der Waals force of attraction. Soft other molecular solids. Other polar molecular solid, non polar molecular solid, trend category. So, non polar abdina, it's a weak dispersion force or otherwise London force eventually. So, low melting point. And usually liquids or gaseous state in room temperature. So, moth ball padriving, naphthalene. So, other line the category, non polar molecules. So, polar molecules abdina plus charge minus charge partial character, but non polar abdina the madri Okay, polar molecular solids. In these solids, geometry is such that one side has a negative charge, another side has a positive charge. So, in the main force of attraction is dipole-dipole force of attraction. That is melting point, boiling points. So, non-polar molecular solids are available. And then next, hydrogen bonded molecular solids. So, hydrogen bonded molecular solids. So, in these kinds of solids, the intermolecular forces are strong hydrogen bonds. So, between the molecules, hydrogen bonds present. And then boiling and melting points are higher than compared to polar and non-polar molecular solids. So non-polar and polar molecular solids are compared to number the boiling point melting point. So they exist as volatile liquids. They exist as volatile liquids or soft solids, room temperature and pressure. Clear? Okay. Example solid ice, other water, and then uh, Glucose is an example. Next, metallic solids. Metallic solids are composed of metal cations held together by delocalization of valence electrons. And the va electrons, valence electrons, and then uh, metallic solids are good conductors of heat and electricity. Okay, so they are hard and having high melting point. Example copper, zinc, gold, etc. So, this is the metallic solids. In the metallic solids, and the cation is in one position. Anions and the electrons are free to move. And the influence is in the attractive force. That is the metallic bonding. Okay. Thank you.